Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a reminder by the Lee Tijunna team. Today I will be addressing you on the topic entitled Do We Really Believe in Freedom? In the West, the idea of freedom is championed and pushed to us as the ultimate set of values to believe in and uphold. But what are these freedoms? Number one, freedom of belief. The idea that you can believe whatever you want about wherever you came from and wherever you're going to go after you die and however you want to live your life. In fact, you can be Muslim one day, Christian the next day and an atheist the next day according to this value. Number two, freedom of speech. The idea that you can say whatever you want, even if it means insulting someone's faith, hurting someone's feelings and talking nonsense. After all, it's your tongue. You should be allowed to say whatever you want, even if it's insulting the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three, the freedom of ownership. The idea that you can own anything and everything, even if it's important things like owning the essential things like electricity, gas, petrol and water which will force the prices of these commodities to increase as companies look to make profits, forcing the middle class and the poor to suffer more. Number four, personal freedom. The belief that we can do whatever we want, have haram relationships if we want, wear what we want and essentially have no boundaries. This type of freedom is what teaches our daughters to abandon the hijab, teaches our sons to swear and be disrespectful, and teaches our adults to abandon the hukums of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when living their lives. These four freedoms are what the West claims to be achieving in their society. But we can see massive contradictions in what they claim to be upholding and what it actually is like in reality. Such as the freedom of belief doesn't apply on Muslims who want to live according to Islam. They attack our dress code, our halal food, our laws on governance and punishment. Where is the freedom of belief for Muslims? How about the freedom of speech? When Muslims say something against the occupation of their lands, they are arrested and given lengthy sentences. But non-Muslims can say whatever they want and get away with it. When we look at the freedom of ownership, why is it that only the rich can own certain assets and commodities, but the average guy can't? Why is the system designed to benefit the 1% elites of society? How is this the freedom of ownership? Or if we look at personal freedom, why can't a Muslim man marry more than one wife, but they have no problem with having illicit relationships where one might be married but has multiple mistresses on the side? Why the double standards? So we can clearly see how these freedoms that are pushed in Western societies are not fit for humanity. In fact, these freedoms are designed to take us away from our Islamic values. What values does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us to champion and believe in instead? There are many values Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu have told us to uphold, such as honesty, being faithful, fulfilling our contracts, looking after everyone, whether they're rich or poor, not insulting other faiths, not giving the key essential assets to private companies that will exploit the people, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. After all, we are the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we must act according to the commands and prohibitions set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't believe in freedom as that would mean we can disobey Allah if we wanted to. SubhanAllah, when we study freedom as an idea, how ludicrous does it sound? This is why it is important that in our matters, in all aspects of our life, we refer back to Allah and His Rasul. Islam does not promote freedom, but rather guides mankind to commands and prohibitions set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in the translation of the meaning, O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those charged with authority amongst you. If you differ in anything amongst yourselves, refer it to Allah and His Messenger. If you do believe in Allah and the last day, that is best and most suitable for the final determination. We hope you found this reminder about freedom useful. Please like, follow and share Lead to Jannah on the links below and let's lead the Muslims towards Jannah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
نفسي بنور من فؤادي